idea is that it's very much, you know, what I always believe is that to live a man's life in a woman's body. And what it means is that the freedom and the comfort of the tailoring of a great blazer and pants and bikes, jacket and so on, but yet not forget the wonderful, you know, aspect of being a woman and being seductive. trying to do something very beautiful for her today, which is about a very strong look, a really big eye, which is starting with a black base and then we put a lot of iridescent colors on top of it. It's about having some sort of fantasy makeup that you can wear out. So yeah, it's like a butterfly wing. And I thought that the hair should kind of not make a real fashion runway statement. It should just be how real girls should want to wear their hair. At any fashion show, as far as I'm concerned, if the hairstyle is more important than the clothes and you're not looking at the clothes as a hairdresser, you've failed. Diane is a legend, so it's great to see her season after season still making new things, you know, and having new ideas and moving forward. And I, you know, I love the fact that there's so much enthusiasm around her right now and around her brand right now. It's the yin and the yang, and basically it says that a woman can be a banker, a biker, or a ballerina. strange because Diane was talking to me yesterday and it's actually a bit more feminine in a way. It's a bit more fragile, I suppose. Um, but, um, but I think it's a really pretty collection. And it's a much, uh, a bit less ethnic, a bit less um, disco, a bit more sophisticated. Um, but you know, we're all growing up. kind of like the idea of, Diane's always said she lives a man's life in a woman's body. So it's this sort of idea of, you know, um, men's clothes kind of gone feminine and women's clothes kind of gone masculine. So, you know, we've got like flannel jersey suits that are kind of, they're great because they move like a track suit, like a jogging suit, but they're tailored like a man suit, like one of my suits, you know, vests, leather jackets worn over little ballerina dresses. So it's kind of like a, a hard soft, in a Diane way, you know, it's always sort of feminine and it's always sensual, so, but, um, yeah, that's kind of the idea for this season. I love the clothes. I mean, the outfit, my outfit's amazing. All of these outfits are absolutely beautiful. I, I definitely wear these clothes. I like them a lot. Um, they're very uh, modern, but also with a, like a classic feeling to them. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of beautiful colors and nice embellishments and uh, very, very nice clothing. Very expensive looking. She very much lives her brand, you know. She 
She dresses a woman. She she makes clothes for a real woman. She's a real woman. She feels that very much herself, and I think it's expressed in everything that she does. And you know, she loves women, and she loves fashion. I mean, I think she loves men too. But I, you know, it's um, it's very. It, it makes you happy to be a woman to wear Diane's clothes. We've been working really hard on the bags and the shoes and so I'm trying to sort of like push everything up there a level. Nathan is leaving and uh, we had a wonderful run together. I threw him in the ocean. Now he's going to have to swim on his own, but I'll be there for helping. Well, that's sad, but you know, um, time waits for no man. And I think Diane and I have traveled a fantastic journey and we'll continue to travel a fantastic journey. We're the best of friends. She's supporting me and my company. So I think that, um, you know, and uh, I wish her the best of luck and I'm always here and she's always here for me. So I think that it's, uh, positive, not negative, but yeah, no, it's poignant. Women are always asking for the same thing. I think uh, women want to be beautiful, want to be confident. In order to be confident and beautiful, you want to be comfortable. So you want comfort, you want color, you want great fabric, you want good silhouette. And then there's the mystery of fashion, who somehow change things always. But women are women, and they will always be.